Perfect. Welcome into Tips for Gamers. In today's video, we're going to show you how to import, export, download, edit, share Madden 22 draft classes. After this video is over, you will be able to do and know everything when it comes to draft classes. And make sure, guys, if you do like our videos, to leave us a like, leave us a comment down below, subscribe, and click the notification bell, guys. We can't thank you enough uh, for you guys giving us some love for all the work that we do with the Madden community. So let's show you how to edit and create draft classes first. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to week three of the regular season, and then you will see it says scout college players uh, will appear onto your screen. And then when you click on that, you will come to this screen here, and it'll show you auto-generated rookies, download Madden Share, and import local file. Now download from Madden Share has not worked for us, so what we recommend is that you guys go to the download community files, and we'll show you where that's at uh, a little bit later in the video. And then from there, you wanna import your local file of what you downloaded from the Madden community. But if you wanna create your own custom draft class, you wanna do auto-generated rookies. Now to create your own custom class from here, you will click edit players and it'll be on the bottom of your screen. For us on Xbox, it is the left bumper. It will be the same for PlayStation as well. If you're ever curious or it's not working for you somehow, look at the bottom of your screen and it'll tell you right next to the select, add to board, edit players and back. So I'm gonna click edit players and from here, I would do edit draft class. Now you can always import the local file at any time. However, just be aware if you go through several weeks of scouting and then you import a new local file, your scouting points will be lost for the previous weeks that you scouted. So here I would go to edit draft class. Now this is something also to realize when you are not the commissioner, the commissioner can go in and see all of these players' skills, every single one of them. Okay, so make sure to look at the transaction page to keep your commissioner honest and true. After you're done editing your draft class, you have two decisions to make. If you plan on just using this draft class one time, the big thing you are going to do is you're going to just save an exit because saving an exit is not exporting the file. You can't use the draft class again. Once the draft class is done and over with and you drafted all the players that you wanted to draft, that draft class is gone. So just realize that. If you wanna use this draft class in the future, you're going to wanna to go to export local file. And you can see all of our draft classes here, which you should definitely check out because we provide better linemen. We provide sleeper players that are later in the draft that's gonna take more skill to get them up, uh, lower awareness, things like that. A better linemen across the board, fullbacks are a little bit better, kickers and punters here and there are better. It's all in all a better draft class. Some of, you know, you get rarity players that come out as a rookie at 85 overall, and it's rare. It doesn't happen a lot. There's also siblings in these. So you'll see, you know, several players that are the same. The only issue, though, about editing draft classes and creating them, what we're finding is that when you do edit a player, they say their college is NA. Okay, so what we've had to do is edit a, a lot of players in this. And so you don't know if one's good or bad. And some of these guys, too, that are good, some of them may be injury prone as well. So there's kind of different dynamics into our draft classes. But it's something to think about when you're creating your draft class. And one other thing we recommend if you do try our draft classes and go in order T4G1, T4G2, T4G3, T4G4, et cetera, you know, et cetera. Now, once you export your local file that you're not done, if you want to share it to the Madden community and create it to where it's available for other Madden gamers to be able to download your draft class. From here, what you want to do is you want to go back to the main menu and you want to go to the NFL logo where it says roster and playbook on the far right. You want to click on that and you want to go to share and manage uh, files here. Now, this is where you can download the community files and this is what we recommend instead of download from the Madden community when you're importing a draft class because that show has shown to us that it has not worked and it's pretty glitchy and from here you can click on this and then you could go into more of a selective search by pressing Y for us but once again it'll be at the very bottom of your screen so you can click on the search you can search keyword gamer tag yada 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 so if you want to import your file what you're going to do is go to share my files and we just uploaded these uh, a few days ago 
And so what we're going to do is you're going to press Y. You're going to upload your file that you want and you can select any file that you've chosen. Uh, we have not put up our T4G4 yet. Uh, you can also click, click the file and then overwrite a file. So let's say you edit it again and you want to do that. Uh, you can then overwrite the file again over top of the file that you previously had like we did for T4G1. Okay, and then what I would recommend on the description, because you can see our description, tipsgamers.com, T4G1, better align, fullbacks, blah, blah, blah. We had a huge description, and it told us that it's you were using profanity or profane language, even though there was no such thing in our description, and it wouldn't let us do it. So what we would recommend is when you do import a file, put a description that's very easy, and then edit the description. Okay, and then it's very easy from there to make sure your description that every word you put in, okay, accept it, have it go through, and then you know if it doesn't get accepted on one of them, if you go to like T4G1, then you go to better O-line, that gets accepted, then put in fullbacks, and if that's not accepted, you know the word that's profane, I guess, or, you know, profanity, then you say, then you can eliminate fullbacks and that's how you should do it. But the description was by far the hardest thing that we had to do with this. It was incredibly ridiculous, more stressful than it needed to be. So after I exported my file, now I can go to scout players. And even if I click on the auto generated players, I can then still import local file one of that i created do t4g1 here load up and use this draft class repeatedly i can continue to use it and what you're going to see here is the players you edited are na college uh it's so frustrating okay now for our draft class what we did was we made it to where the na because a lot of people would then go and just draft anyone who's na because they know we edited them chances are we made them good uh, so to combat that we edited quite a bit of players some of the guys that we didn't edit we felt they were good or felt that it was right for this draft class for them to be a low overall or a high overall to kind of add some different variety to the draft class however when making a good draft class, realize that this is a part of Madden and Madden hasn't figured this out yet, even though all these guys had colleges to begin with. And apparently majority of our draft class now didn't go to college. They just played high school. Uh, you want to combat that by going in and editing them just a little bit. OK, and that way people aren't cheating by saying, oh, I know that this guy's going to be good just because he didn't go to college. And that means he's an edited player. Okay, Madden is really weird and glitchy, and they just can't figure out draft classes to save their lives. Um, and the other thing, too, I'd recommend is Quick Scout. I wouldn't recommend going into uh, the player in the beginning of the year. Do it at the end when the combine's already gone through. That's just a scouting tip added bonus. Uh, but hopefully you guys like the video. Share and like it for us. Hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Leave us a like down below and a comment. We'll see you in the next one. Perfect.